In a landmark trial held in Norway, defense contractors KNDS Deutschland, Elbit Systems, and Kongsberg executed the first-ever land-based launch of the Naval Strike Missile, NSM, using the Mars-3 rocket launcher system. This configuration, mounted on an Iveco Tracker 8x8 chassis, represents the European adaptation of the Israeli PULS system and marks a significant step in integrating maritime strike capabilities into ground-based artillery platforms. Originally developed by Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, the NSM is known for its dual functionality in attacking both ships and land targets. This test confirmed that the missile could be successfully deployed from a mobile ground system as part of a multi-role, multi-domain strike platform. The NSM used in the trial included a booster, totaled 407 kg, and delivered a 125 kg blast fragmentation warhead. Mars 3, formerly designated as EuroPULS, is being positioned as the next-generation replacement for Germany's Mars 2, which itself was derived from the M270 MLRS. A 55 million euro contract signed in early 2025 covers the delivery of five of these systems. Though the Iveco tracker serves as the testbed platform, Mars 3's architecture allows for alternative configurations on Scania, Tatra, or tracked vehicles from BAE, underscoring its modular, platform-neutral approach. The system's engine generates 540 horsepower, enabling speeds of up to 90 km per hour while keeping total weight under 40 tons. A standard crew of 2 to 3 personnel operates the vehicle, which features modular protection systems customized to customer requirements. With a maximum firing range of 300 km and a full salvo of 12 rockets launchable in under a minute, Mars 3 supports wide azimuth targeting beyond 180 degrees and can deliver strikes from multiple directions simultaneously. What sets Mars 3 apart is its open and modular fire control system. Built on technology from the European Fire Control System and components of the RCH-155 artillery vehicle, the launcher offers seamless cross-compatibility with platforms like the Panzerhobitz 2000. It accepts a broad range of ammunition from multiple vendors, including a killer rockets, 122mm and 160mm, extra, Predator Hawk, Skystriker loitering drones, at two mine dispersal payloads, and the NSM. In the future, it will accommodate the Joint Fire Support Missile, JFSM, with a range approaching 500 km, training ordnance with ranges as low as 7 km is also compatible, giving Mars 3 both tactical and strategic depth without locking it into a single supply chain. The NSM itself has been steadily adopted across NATO-aligned militaries since its debut in the 2010s. With advanced guidance systems combining GPS-INS, TURCOM, laser altimetry, and infrared imaging, the missile navigates terrain with precision while remaining stealthy through sea skimming or ground hugging flight. While its baseline range is over 185 km, the extended range Block 1A variant, ordered by Germany, can reach more than 300 km. Beyond land based platforms, the missile can also be launched from ships and aircraft, and has been fielded by countries such as the US, Canada, Norway, and Australia. In U.S. service, it has been integrated into unmanned platforms within the Mises Coastal Defense System. MBDA Germany's JFSM is another major addition to Mars 3's arsenal. This 300 kg class missile includes an 80 kg warhead and is equipped with a booster and turbojet for propulsion. Leveraging AI for autonomous targeting and capable of terrain following flight, it can re-navigate mid-flight to avoid civilian or allied forces. It is being developed for use in long-range precision strike roles within the Bundeswehr under the future long-range indirect fire initiative, with support for various mission profiles, ranging from electronic warfare to reconnaissance. The foundation of the Mars 3 launcher comes from the Israeli-developed PULS system, initially produced by Israel Military Industries and updated by Elbit Systems. The launcher accepts dual pods for varied ammunition configurations, up to 36 122mm grad or acular rounds, 26 160mm rockets, 8 extra, for Predator Hawks, or 6 Skystriker drones. 
KNDS's EuroPULS variant includes a fully European fire control system that eliminates U.S. export control barriers, ITAR, ensuring better flexibility for European defense clients and smoother integration across NATO operations. This successful NSM launch from Mars 3 is part of Germany's broader initiative to refresh its deep strike capabilities while retiring aging M270 launchers. Mounted on the widely used Iveco chassis, the platform benefits from logistical synergy with existing vehicle fleets. Operational lessons from conflicts in Ukraine and the Red Sea have shown that mobile, land-based cruise missile platforms, especially those offering coastal defense roles, are highly effective in fluid combat zones. Looking ahead, development continues on incorporating future effectors like MBDA's RCM Superscript 2, which targets enemy ships, aircraft, and artillery. Partnerships with Deal Defense are also underway to co-develop additional long-range strike munitions. The end goal is a versatile, scalable strike system that can operate across multiple domains, providing strategic flexibility without relying on proprietary weapons or single-use platforms.